if I remember correctly, I was playing the drum loop and Feli was like soloing on the guitar. And I think, honestly, he like accidentally went boom, 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 I think. And then I was like, yo, wait, what was that? And he's like, wait, wait, what? And I was like, what was that? Like, <laughs> he played like a bunch of different shit. And then he finally played the same thing again. And I was like, yes, I was like, that. I was like, record that. He's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. Malcolm. I'm Derek Riffro. Saul was producer and bass player on Feli's new song, Heartstrings. It was so long ago, honestly, I can't really remember. I wrote and co-produced Heartstrings featuring Carlos Santana. But I said I did the drums, I copied and pasted the drum loop into <laughs> Ableton. And I helped Phil produce Heartstrings. Um, I actually got a call from Chris the day that uh, Heartstrings was made. And Oliver and Saul. Tim, big kid there. Me, Saul. And Oliver. We're in a session with Chris and they, they had started this beat. And we were just here making beats like we usually do. Chris had some ideas over and he called me. He's like, Derek, you gotta come over. He's like, I need you over at the crib right now. We're making a big smash. Like, like I pulled up and um, I just, like, the second I walked in, I was like, oh, this is something special. Like, they were just cooking up some song, you know, sounded really fire. Like, everybody was just, like, in the groove and everything sounded like fire from the beginning. Like, you knew. It was going to be something, and it was just a matter of like figuring out like what exactly that was going to be. He did the classic like Feli. Feli is like he's trying to like make the song in like ten seconds. Like it's like zoom. All right, you ready? He's like, yeah, I'm fucking ready. Like I'm gonna play this lick. It's like he does it, and he does it like perfectly the first time. And I'm like, all right, cool. He's like, nah, let me do it again. And then like I hit pause, and I'm like, cool. He's like, one more, bro. Like fuck, and we all just sort of assume positions as far as like just you know if you're gonna play over here, you play this instrument. If you're gonna play over here, you play that instrument, and you just sort of talk to the general uh, vibe of the room. He plays the lick again, and then I'm like, okay, cool. And he's like, bro, 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 I, I love you, I love you, but one more, and I'm like, oh fun. I end up literally just going back to the very first day. <laughs> <laughs> putting the very first take in there and he's like he's like listening he's like yeah yeah that's fine that's fine <laughs> and like I just came in played some guitar and like you know heard a couple of ideas and I was like oh we, we could take it in this direction and we could you know kind of add these parts you know in, in different areas of the song it felt newer we had just been making trap beats after trap beats and we kind of just bored of it like I came in and the, the groove was like rocking and I was like guys like what if we like break this up like what if there's this big part that like lead like it's so dramatic and it like leads you into the hook again um so i kind of like had that idea to like you know break it up and have this super dramatic bridge i wrote it up until the hook and the hook was old stumpy he said saw you know give me the smash give me the smash hook I tried to give him the smash hook you know he's like all right, all right. Well, i remember the problem being with the song was like the hook so I knew that like a lot of things were lining up and it was good, but the hook had no clue. The hook was not written. Like, it was not written. This is what effed us up for a while. So we ended up like just kind of like leaving the song and sitting on it. We sat on it maybe for at least half a year. He texted me one day, he's like, bro, I think I got it. I was like, wait, he's got the meaning of life? Like, what is this? Oliver comes over. He comes over, he's supposed to be here at 2 o'clock, we had like a 2 o'clock session. He doesn't come until 4.30, but in like the 30 minutes while he's not here, I wrote the hook. Like he was leaving to Europe the next day. Um, we had one day to finish this. He got juicy with the Lucy. <laughs> Legend. Legend in the building. We're trying to record ourselves and like, so it's sort of, sort of like a rush to get it, to, to finish the second verse and to record it all in. Just at, like, at least get it in the box before the loosey goosey hits. <laughs> the gravity is master strong. Oh, the kill me, got a hold of my heart strings and my heart strings. Heart strings, yeah. Let's go, you got this shit. Um, let's get it. You have mercy. 
you have mercy. And I'm worthy. And I'm worthy. And I'm gonna seal it. Why you take it too long? Then fast forward a couple months, he made this mash, wrote the hook. You know, we're looking for shit to happen on the song. Label trying to make magic, you know, we're trying to reach out, get people on the record. You know, we had some people try their shit, like Juke Ross tried his shit. Then Big Gigantic got on the third verse, and he was doing a crazy sax solo, which we sat on for like seven months. There was a certain energy that we wanted to collectively have on it, and I think that it was one of those things where I remember kind of talking to the guys and being like, it's gonna, we're gonna find it, you know, it's gonna be something that's magical and we're all going to know and we're all going to agree that this is like, this is it. Darling, swimming in the fire when we're diving, if the tide's right, we will hide in. This is classic belly. Heartstrings is done. I don't know, five months later, I've, I've moved back to the UK, and Feli hits me up, he's like, bro, he's like, Carlos Santana loves heartstrings. And we got the call that uh, Carlos was down to do the record, he somehow heard the record and liked the record, and we were like, this is it, bro, this is go time. My manager's like, I got this really weird phone call, and Carlos Santana loves your record and wants to play on it. I was like, what? I was sitting here, I was sitting here, and I was just like, like, I wish I had, like, a homie to be like, dude, guess what <laughs> just happened? But I was sitting here, I'm just like, hmm, that is weird. And then, like, thinking, oh my god, imagine what that could, that could be like. It's so hard to play. Shredding like feet away from us, and like he loved the song. And we're just sitting there, just like face melting, like just truly just melting. How does it feel to now have a production credit with the legendary Carlos Santana? It's a magical moment. It was so. So special. Oh, yes. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. <laughs> Everything that you do should have fresh, new, outside of time. That's how you stay relevant. You know, like Aretha, Billy Holiday, Coltrane, Prince, anybody who has ever stepped outside of time, uh, it's an inside job. Mm. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta work on, 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 on telling your mind, your brain, and your cere cerebellum. Why don't you go over there and sit down and be quiet mm. while this takes over? Cause it's like this, like this, and like that. I really do appreciate it. Yeah, man. This is now we gotta work the fucking thing, which is the fun of it. But uh. I, you know, I know we had a couple obstacles on the way, but it's just like it's crazy fucking going to Carlos Santana's page and the most current release is you. Oh my god, that's so sick. Yeah, it's pretty cool, man. Well, thank you again, man, and thank you to your brother. Go enjoy uh, listening to your song with fucking Carlos Santana. Santana record just dropped. I am in awe. I can't believe that shit just happened. The whole process of making an album is so trippy because it shows you what the album is about. You come up with this idea, and then the idea that you have teaches you so much. Every one of my albums has been like this, but this one feels super dope because it's called Mariposa. It's about me coming into my being and, and, and fucking finally feeling like I'm flying, feeling like shit's going, feeling like, feeling beautiful, you know?
It's the belly. It's called the heart strength. You know what I mean? Is that what you have to do your heart strength? Oh, yeah. You just don't know that. Stay down so long And I'ma stay down till your heart turns strong Cupid's got a hold of my heartstrings Of my heartstrings